A Carnot engine CE1 works between two temperature reservoirs A and B where TA is 900 Kelvin and TB is 500 Kelvin. A second Carnot engine CE2 works between temperature reservoir B and C where TC is equal to 300 Kelvin. In each of CE1 and CE2 all the heat rejected by CE1 to reservoir B is used by CE2. For one cycle of the operation if the net heat absorbed by CE1 from reservoir A is 150 megajoule the net heat rejected to the reservoir C by CE2 in megajoule is now according to the problem the reservoir A is at a temperature Ta is equal to 900 Kelvin and Tb is equal to 500 Kelvin 500 Kelvin so this is Tb so these are the reservoir T and Tb between reservoir A and B we have a heat engine He1 okay so the work done by this engine is W heat rejected by this engine is Q2 and heat sucked from this reservoir is Q1. Now there is another heat engine between reservoir B and reservoir C. Let's try it here. And C is at a temperature of, let's write Tc is equal to 300 Kelvin. And between this, there is a heat engine. Let's say He2. Okay. Work done is W. So the heat rejected by this reservoir is Q3 and heat rejected by this heat engine is the heat gained by this heat engine will be Q2 and rejected will be Q3. Now it is also given in the problem that net heat absorbed by CE1 that is heat engine 1 from reservoir A is 150 megajoule. So Q1 is given 150 megajoule. Okay, now we know that the efficiency of heat engine, efficiency of heat engine for heat engine 1, let's write heat engine 1, we have eta 1 will be equal to 1 minus 500 by 900, 500 is the temperature of reservoir B and 900 is the temperature of reservoir A. So this will be equal to 0.444 or in percentage we can also write this as 44.4%. Now we can also write the efficiency eta 1 is equal to 1 minus Q2 by Q1. Okay. And the value of Q1 is already known and we have already got the value of eta1 that is 0.444. So from here we get the value of Q2 will be equal to 83.33 megajoule. Okay. Now coming to the efficiency of heat engine 2. So let's write in green efficiency of second heat engine so this will be eta 2 is equal to 1 minus 300 by 500 and the temperature of reservoir C divided by the temperature of reservoir B so from here we get eta 2 will be 0 0.4 or in percentage we can say 40 percent now eta 2 is also equal to 1 minus q3 by q2 and we have already got the value of q2 that is 83.33 megajoule therefore q3 will be equal to 50 megajoule okay we just need to substitute eta2 and q2 here and we get q3 is equal to 50 megajoule so the correct answer will be 50 in megajoule so the net heat rejected to reservoir C by second heat engine in megajoule is 50. For more information on Carnot cycle you can refer to the NPTEL course lecture number 14 Carnot cycle Carnot principles 
थर्मोडायनेमिक टेम्परेचर स्केल ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू एरोस्पेस प्रपल्शन बाय प्रोफेसर भास्कर रॉय एंड प्रोफेसर ए एम प्रदीप ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एरोस्पेस इंजीनियरिंग एट आई बॉम्बे 